A few weeks ago, I paused the video capturing this image with a Samsung Galaxy Ultrafon using its 10x optical camera. You can watch the full video by clicking the link on top right corner. These phones can deliver raw DNG images and allowing you to long exposure up to 30 seconds with full manual control of the camera. 10x camera is equivalent of 240mm and I was curious trying this phone on top of a star tracker to be able to long exposure deep sky objects without having star trails. If you are not familiar with deep sky astrophotography, these star trackers has a rotation engine and it can rotate your camera by simulating the Earth's rotation. By doing this, you can long exposure dimmer deep sky objects such as nebulas, galaxies and gather all the dim light into a single frame. Taking hundreds of shots, each long exposed individually for hours, which is a normal procedure for deep sky astrophotography and then combining all the images taken by stacking them with Astro stacking apps to get the best pixels and create a crazy detailed 32-bit huge image file. Single long exposures by itself might not have the best detail because of the noise, vignetting and other changing atmospheric factors blocking the details. That's why stacking and post-processing is required for astrophotography even with using professional astro cameras and telescopes. Another important information is you need unprocessed raw images to do this. If your camera has an auto noise reduction or sharpening features, it won't give you the correct results. Now let's talk about stacking and calibration frames and what they mean. We need untouched, unprocessed images so we can stack them with Deep Sky Stacker. By the way, taking calibration frames are optional. It is for improving your image quality. And without confusing you too much, I will try to explain what are the calibration frames. Calibration frames are extra shot taking in the same time when you capture your main images. It is important to take calibration frames at the same time and place because weather temperature affects your noise level. Calibration images help us while stacking the pictures. They allow us to extract the noise and vignetting. There are different types of calibration frames. Flat calibration frames help us to extract your vignetting and dust particles from your image. And dark calibration frames are helping for extracting the noise that your sensor creates. And bias calibration frames also help with the noise. Uh, by the way, I will leave a link in the description explains how to take calibration frames if you're interested. Today, I want to test how much improvement calibration frames have over your final image. Considering that I'm using a tiny smartphone camera that creates a lot of noise, I really want to see if it improves the image quality by adding the calibration frames. To test it out, I will stack my Orion Nebula captures using the calibration frames and the same image without using the calibration frames to compare them after uh, with Photoshop. Stacking will take almost an hour with Deep Sky Stacker app and I will use the similar recommended settings for both images. I will also leave all the necessary links and technical details in the description in case you need them. After one hour, I stacked two different images, one with calibration frames and one without calibration frames. Let's see. This one with the calibration images and this one without the calibration images. It, they look really similar, but let's see what we push images and stretch the light data with Photoshop and see what's gonna happen. I will just drag them into Photoshop. and just name them. Um, first I'm going to name them differently and put them into same project file as separate layers. Let's see. And this one's with calibration frames. Let's drag it.
I got my both files as separate layers, but still not much difference, honestly. Let's see. I'm going to reduce the bitrate to 16 bit for an easy process because 32 bit is really big and it's not necessary. And I will crop it to focus on the Orion Nebula because I don't need the surrounding area, honestly. That looks good. I will go to levels to stretch out all the light data recorded. I need to do this until the levels histogram is fully stretched without clipping any data. By the way, a shortcut for levels histogram is Command L or Control L for Windows. Now I will do the same for my other image uh, with the calibration frames. Yeah, I have to do this again and again and again until that light data that you see as white is stretched out so we can see the details better. This is literally called stretching process for astrophotography and astrophotographers are familiar with that process. Let's see, there's any difference. Hmm, interesting. Uh, there's color difference, but that's a tiny, tiny difference, honestly. It's not affecting that much. I want to go and push it further by adding saturation, contrast, and detail if it will change anything. By opening the camera raw filter, and I'm going to bump up the um, saturation. And can use dehaze too, I guess. And do the same for um, the other image with the calibration frames. There's a little difference now. I can see. Um, Let's push it more until the image starting break out. <laughs> Let's see. Adding another 100% saturation. Going crazy with that right now. You don't have to do this, but I'm just trying to push the image. Doing the same thing for the image with the calibration frames. Let's look at the difference now. I mean, it didn't affect it that much, but I can see the improvement in the dark areas. Just ignore the noise, you can always use noise reduction for that weird noise in the dark. Let's add more contrast to get better dark areas. Um, same thing here.
Yeah, I guess it works a little. Um, I don't normally push images this much, but just to prove if it affects anything. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, please let me know in the comment section if you see a lot of improvement or difference between these two images. Let's look more wide. I mean, definitely flat calibration frames have worked for getting rid of the vignetting on the corners. Yeah, definitely. I have no vignetting on the this one. Let's compare side by side. Um, the one without the calibration frames has more greenish noise, but details are almost same. I mean, I can't even tell the difference if there is any, dif any, any difference with the details. The details look same. Um, let's try the other way. The color drastically changes, I guess. I don't know, it's almost identical. I mean, the question is, I spent almost extra two hours to get these calibration frames. D does it really worth it to spend this much time for this much improvement? I'm not sure. It definitely improved, but let me know what you think in, if you have any questions, I would be more than happy answering them in the comment section.